In this video, we will study about another type of typecast in C++, which is called dynamic cast. So in order to understand dynamic cast, first we need to know about RTTI. So this stands for Runtime Type Identification. And it provides a standard way for a program to determine the type of an object during runtime. And this RTTI is provided using two operators. One is the type ID operator. And the second is dynamic cast. So type ID operator returns the actual type of object referred to by the pointer or reference, whereas the dynamic cast operator safely converts from a pointer or reference of base type to a pointer of reference of derived type. So if the base reference or pointer is pointing to a valid object of derived type, then it will allow the conversion, otherwise it will not. So by valid type, let's take one example. So let's take, we have a base class and it's called animal. And there are many animals which are inheriting from this base class. For simplicity, let's take just two examples. One is cat, one is dog. So cat is also an animal, dog is also an animal, both are inheriting from animal class. So we have three classes here. This one is base and these are derived. So in C++ we are allowed to make a base class pointer point to an object of a derived class. So we can do that because cat is also a animal. So, so here it's not base, it's animal. So we are talking about public inheritance here. So this is fine. We are uh, creating an object of class cat and assigning it to base class animal. So let's make it one. And we have another, which is dog. Now let's say we have a dog pointer. And we we have these two base pointers, but we don't know which one is pointing to uh, a valid dog, dog object. So here we see that BP1 is pointing to a cat object, whereas BP2 is pointing to a dog object. So if we do dynamic cast on it, here we want dog star, dog pointer. And if we assign here BP1, then it will return a null pointer. So it will not allow this conversion because this BP1 is not holding a dog class pointer. But if we do BP2, it will convert it. It will convert this base class, animal class pointer to dog successfully. So that's why uh, this is the meaning of valid conversion. So it will allow all the valid conversions and it will not allow invalid conversions and this is determined at runtime. So now let's start the main topic of this class, which is dynamic cast. So its syntax is similar to other casts. So here we have the dynamic cast keyword, and then we specify the new type to which we want to convert. This type can be either a pointer or a reference, and then we have the expression or the variable. So it involves a runtime type check. And one condition is that this base class has to be polymorphic. So by polymorphic, we mean that base class must have a, at least one virtual function. So virtual functions have this virtual keyword in front of them. And uh, the, uh, which virtual function to call on any object is determined at runtime. So if we don't define any virtual function inside the base class, then this dynamic class will fail at runtime, uh, compile time itself, saying that the base class is not polymorphic. Now let's assume that uh, our base class is polymorphic, then on success, so either the cast will be successful or it will fail. So on success, it will return uh, a pointer or a reference of new type. So depending on whether this is a pointer or reference and on failure, if the new type is a pointer, then it will return a null pointer. And if the new type is a reference, then it will throw a bad cast exception. 
because uh, the base class uh, base pointer reference is not holding a valid derived class object now let's look at one quiz based on whatever we have learned just so far so let's say we have a base class and we have a derived class which is publicly inheriting from this base class and in the main we have a base object and a derived object and here we have these two pointers one is base class pointer one is derived class pointer and in first case we are doing dynamic cast and on this derived class object so it's fine we all know that we can assign a derived class object to a base class pointer and the second we have a derived class object derived class pointer and we are assigning this base class object to it so will this code compile or not so let's pause the video and come up with the solution so the answer is that it will not compile and it will fail here so this will till this line it's fine but here it's error at compile time itself it will say that base class is not polymorphic so just now we saw that the base class must be polymorphic that is we have to define at least one virtual function here so if we modify this class to include one just one virtual function let's say virtual void f which doesn't do anything which is empty then this function will compile so now it will compile after this definition so there is no error at compile time but what will be the output of if we do c out pd what will be the output so this also we have seen that if this base is this is not a valid reference a valid object of this derived class then it will fail and it will in case of pointer it will return a null pointer so here we see that we are passing a base class object so it will fail and it here it will return a null pointer it will not fail but return a null pointer and its output will be zero now let's take the another example so here in this case we have made sure that the base class is polymorphic and we have a base class pointer pointing to a derived class object and a base class pointer pointing to a base class object and we have a derived class pointer and in first case we are casting this pbd so remember pbd was pointing to a valid derived class object so it will return a valid pointer if we print it this pd so it will print some uh, valid address maybe this some random address not null and in the second case we are casting this pointer pbb so pbb is not pointing to a derived class object whereas this pbd was so here the output will be zero because this was not a valid derived class object now let's move further so let's revisit our earlier example that is we have an animal based class and two derived classes cat and dog which are inheriting publicly from them and we have a couple of animal pointers and one is pointing to cat and the second is pointing to dog so if we have a cat star pointer pc and we dynamic cast cat star in one case we do p1 and then let's say pc2 of the same class and we do p2 then in the first case p1 is pointing to a valid cat object so it will return some if we print pc pc1 then it will print some valid address let's say this address and in the second case p2 we are trying to type cast dynamic cast on this p2 which is pointing to a dog class object so it will return zero if we print pc2 it will return zero now let's move further so another point to keep in mind about dynamic cast is that it has a runtime overhead associated with it so if you perfectly know what type of object 
base class object you have and you are sure that you will not wrongly cast then you can use static cast instead because it will have runtime overhead and static cast will be faster because it will not have any overhead at the runtime so now we have been talking about pointers the same holds true for references also so let's quickly take one example involving references we have base class and it's polymorphic we have defined a virtual class and we have a derived class which publicly inherits from this base class and now in the main we have a derived class object a base class object and we have studied that if if uh, the four pointers the cast is not valid it will succeed and return a null pointer whereas in the case of references if it's not a valid derived class reference then it will throw bad cast exception so we have to include it in try and catch blocks and here we are creating a base class reference and trying to dynamic cast on d so here d is a derived class object so it's fine we can assign a derived class object to a base class reference or pointer and now in the second case we are trying to assign a base class object which is just base class and it's not pointing to a derived class object and we are trying to typecast it to a derived class reference assign it to derived class reference so it's not valid and it will throw an exception and it will the flow will come here and if we print it then this line will print out bad cast so this is the difference from pointer that it will throw an exception so that's all for dynamic cast thanks for watching and see you in the next video